Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. These readings that I do here are for entertainment purposes only. So with that Scorpio, just take what speaks for you and leave what doesn't apply. Should you enjoy this reading, feel free to let me know by liking and or subscribing to my channel uh, where you will be notified of any upcoming videos that I release here. Let's take a look at the cards that are coming through for you. Scorpio, we're just going to dive straight on in. You've got the Queen of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. The signs of the person that you could be dealing with here, with the Queen of Cups, you could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Page of Cups, so strong water energy, um, this is the overarching energy or the overall energy. Look, underneath here, we've got the Knight of Wands. So you could be dealing with the fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Look, I feel here, Scorpio, with the Page of Cups. In this Page of Cups card, there's three people. Okay, there's three people. You could be dealing with someone here who is possibly younger than you. And I feel like this person... Um, either they're younger than you or they're emotionally immature, like they're emotionally not where you are at. Because I feel with the Queen of Cups, you are and this person are on totally different pages, emotionally speaking. Now, because their energy is coming through as the Knight of Wands, this is someone who possibly for the most part pops in and out of your life or, you know, uh, when it comes to the physical side of this connection, they're all hot. When it comes to the emotional side of the connection, they're a little bit distant or they're cold, okay? They're just not on the same page as you, emotionally speaking. I feel like you want something with the Queen of Cups, something more serious. This person wants something a little more fun, okay? I do feel like with the Page of Cups, this person does fantasize about you, I feel like this person is strongly attracted to you. Look, there possibly could be an apology coming forward in the upcoming week uh, in regards to this person, but I do feel like there's someone who fantasizes about you here, or possibly you are fantasizing about a fire sign here, or someone that you're strongly attracted to here. I feel like this is a very charismatic, energetic kind of individual, and I see you fantasizing about this person, um, Scorpio. But look, what I really like about the Queen of Cups is you've done a lot of work on yourself. You have a lot of love to give to the right person, okay? You are deeply emotional. You love a relationship uh, where you can go deep with your feelings, otherwise you don't bother, okay? Now, what I love about this Queen of Cups is she knows who she is. She loves herself enough and she's got her hand covering her chalice. So she doesn't give her emotions and her time and her energy out to anybody. She's very um, sensible with who she gives her heart to, okay? So I feel like Scorpio here, you've arrived at some kind of point where you have really done the work on yourself, okay? You are still the beautiful, amazing, intuitive, sensual, um, emotional being that you are, but you just won't give your heart to anybody. You'll reserve that for someone who deserves it here, okay? I do see with the Three of Cups here, there is someone, possibly someone from the past coming back in, wanting to connect with you, Scorpio. Maybe this person's just in it for a good time. I feel like this is more about good times. It could be a, a possible reunion or just a casual encounter here. But I feel like he, this person just wants something casual. You want something serious, okay? You will talk to this person. You will, um, you'll be sensible with this person, but I don't feel like you'll give this person your heart, okay? I, I feel like with the Five of Swords, this person won't like it, okay? Um, it, look, it could be that there's a, a conflict or an argument that happens here, but look, for the most part, I feel like this person will feel 
like it's a it's it's a lose lo uh, it's a losing uh, battle or it's a losing situation. I feel like this person will want your attention. Or perhaps this is someone who receives a lot of attention. I feel like you're dealing with someone here who gets a lot of attention from a lot of different people. But I feel like you don't want you don't want anything to do with that. I feel like with the Eight of Cups, you're making peace with the fact that this situation is unsatisfactory for you, Scorpio, and you are looking at walking away. At one point, you did want something with this person, but you can see here that the cup is spilt over. So what's done is done. I don't feel like... You'll be able to really get what you want from this person. You want something here with the Ace of Pentacles. You want something serious. You want a commitment with someone that you can build a life with. You don't want this, you know, popping in and out energy. You don't want this player-like energy. Yeah, sure, you're attracted to them and you fantasize about them and they fantasize about you. But for the most part, you want something that's going to go the distance. I feel like maybe you might be with the Five of Swords cutting this person away or cutting this person out. So let's take a look at your person's energy. And see what's coming through for them. The star. They have hopes. Um, they have high hopes of maybe restoring something here with you and them. I feel like this person may be trying to put you up on a pedestal, Scorpio. Um, and the reason why they're doing that is because they want your attention. I feel like this person could be just showering you with a lot, a lot of attention. They may be coming in to um, receive some healing energy from you as well. They see you as a very healing person or very soothing to them. King of Water. I feel like this person's going to open up their heart to you. I feel like this person does care about you. I feel like they will express their emotions and open up their heart to you, Scorpio. Okay, what else have they got here? The moon. Interesting. Interesting. Either this person's emotions are intensifying here. There are, this person's emotions are getting on top of them with the moon card. Or this person that you're dealing with here, Scorpio, it's like their emotions are heightened this week. Where it's like maybe this person doesn't really tell you how they feel, but like this week it's like they're just like spilling their emotions all over the place. Because with the moon it's a release. It's a release of uh, built up emotions. Maybe this person's been holding on, holding on, holding on, holding on. And then they just spill their emotions all over the place. Maybe with the moon, this is something that you don't see coming. Flirt. This person will try to flirt with you to try and get you to open your heart back up to them, Scorpio. 
romantic feelings look i feel like this person is romantically attracted to you here your feelings are real and worth exploring maybe this person wants to take you out on a romantic date or they're coming across as very romantic i see i see maybe a little kiss being extended here But it could be, Scorpio, yeah, there's too many cooks in the kitchen here, I feel. That that could be your scenario. Um, either one of you is married or the other person is married. Uh, there's, there's three people in this card and there's three people in this card. So I'm getting here, there's too many cooks in the kitchen. Like there's, you know, um, too many people in this picture. So that's all I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading and until next time, take care.